Hey everybody, we're out here today at the Black Fox Lodge in uh, Pigeon Forest, Tennessee. Uh, so we heard some good things about this hotel and we're going to go inside and give it a try. We got the two queen uh, corner premium suite as they call it. Uh, it's supposed to have a really nice balcony on it and everything. So we're going to give it a try and check out the hotel and show you everything this hotel has to offer. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and uh, let's check out the hotel. prints down here this is for the black fox lodge i don't see any foxes already on the hallway right now but you never know maybe one later room 503 two queen corner room suite with a 60 foot balcony we're excited for this so come on in steph Oh, don't mind all of our stuff <laughs> so this is the four day area right here good place to drop off your mm -hmm. luggage and everything and then directly in front of you, you got the closet area so i'll open this door to show you so you got all your coat hangers uh, things for the couch bed there, iron, iron and board in there somewhere, and then luggage rack there. It's a nice little place to drop all the luggage off. And then we'll head this way. And look at this here. Nice size living room. It's your bedroom over there, kitchen area. We're going to show it all to you. So this is the kitchen area right here. It's your ice bucket, plenty of counter space, uh, sink, coffee maker. You've got uh, plenty of storage up here. Uh, there's so many places to eat up here. I'm going to be storing anything up here. Uh, more storage. You got more storage down below, and you got some drawers and just everything you might need. Now these are empty, so there's no like utensils, plates, things like that. Um, this is something we don't do in our videos. It's probably something that we'll do every time either. Uh, but this is just a, uh, I guess, a shout out to Smoky Mountain families. So they do microwave checks in all their videos, and it's pretty cool. Their microwave checks they actually shout out other YouTubers in the area too. So we're gonna open the microwave up here. Super clean. Microwave check brought to you by Smoky Mountain Family. I will put their description or their link to their uh, video in the description below. Uh, don't tell them though, but also they told me where they got their Mega Pint shirt from, so I got one of those. And uh, it was on Etsy, so anybody wants to know, uh, they'll know I have one now once they watch the video. But yeah, there's some awesome YouTubers, a great family, uh, super nice people. Uh, but that's a microwave check uh, by Smoky Mountain Family. Um, fridge here. Well, Good really size. Clean. Really clean, yeah. Yeah, super clean fridge. It looks to be bigger than your dorm size refrigerator, about double the size, so it's a good size fridge. Uh, turning around here, you got your first bathroom. This one here is just a sink, kitchen, or sink, a sink, toilet, uh, no shower in here. It's got your towels and everything. Uh, but a nice clean bathroom. <laughs> and it's really clean. Yeah, it is. And then turning right behind Stephanie here, it's your first little set of windows. You can kind of see the river out there a little a bit. A full circle on that one. <laughs> yep. And then we'll show you the rest and the of the room The river's here. down below. Um, so right here, this is the little kitchen, I guess, table or dining table. But it's pretty cool. You have the higher, so it's not bar height, but it is higher. So you also got places to put your feet underneath and on the chairs. It's very comfortable. We said it when we first got here. It's a nice table here. Living room. You got your chairs. Uh, couch bed, little table right here. On the wall behind here, you got plugs, plugs in the lamp. So plenty of places to plug things in that. Coming over here, you have your TV. You got more storage in here, more storage below. So just lots of places to store things. Again, I think I said that's a couch bed there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have more plugs on, on the wall, yep. more plugs in the lamp. Same so thing as the other side. The only part of the room that we found had a little bit of dirt was there's one dead bug here. But y'all, yeah, we're in the smokies with the balcony room. You're probably going to see a bug. But there's a little bit of dirt on the floor. I don't know if they just missed a spot or something. Yeah. And uh, it's otherwise, really just in this one little section. Yeah, otherwise no it's big been deal. spotless. Yeah, it's been uh, great. So we'll walk over to the bedroom, show you that, and we'll leave that balcony for last. The balcony is huge. Already got the first thermostat here. Some cool artwork on the wall right over there. <laughs> uh, then we're going to head right into the bedroom. So. Coming in the bedroom here, uh, your second thermostat's right here. Uh, you do have a closet here, uh, just second laundry bag, which is always handy, uh, coat hangers. Um, I do wish they had a second luggage rack, so you can just move that one over here pretty easy. Um, but usually most people have at least two suitcases, 
Uh, so it'll be cool if you got since you got the space, you know, throw a second luggage rack in there. Uh, next place up is the bathroom. This is a nice bathroom in here. We got a jacuzzi, tub. It's not super deep, but it's pretty good size to it. It is super clean. Yeah, spotless. And then over here, shower stall. Uh, the shower head looks like it's actually just brand new. Mm -hmm. uh, so shower, very nice little shower stall in here. Plenty of room. Uh, your standard toilet here. Yeah, it's just a toilet. And then right behind Steph is the second little sink area and all that. We have a lot of your little amenities right here. Uh, well, they knocked them all over, but... Get your soaps, your cleansing towelette, um, all that. Now it's a complete mess. <laughs> full size, or not full size, but nice size mirror. Mm -hmm. um, it would be nice to have the makeup towel for you, stuff though. Yeah, well, I like the hotels and have those little, uh, the black color makeup towels are really nice. Uh, so we'll head this way. You got a full size mirror, a little uh, uh, ottoman in there in the bottom so you can sit in front of you and do like makeup or something. Not super bright though. Uh, you do have your desk area right here. Uh, That's where I'll be editing this video. <laughs> yep, little chair right here to sit in. <laughs> uh, you do have a plug here, lamp of course. Uh, right here you got two plugs. This goes to the lamp I believe, so you could unplug it if you want to. And two USBs, so plenty of places to charge and plug up. Uh -huh. uh, you get your double clean beds here, three pillows each. Uh, we have it pulled, we always uh, pull do a bed off and check it, but uh, the lamp's very clean. So we. We always check the bed. Yes, yeah, so you've got a, your standard sheet there. You've got your mattress protector here. It's not a full zip. We prefer full zip ones, fully encased, but it looks very clean. So when you're checking for, for bed bugs, I travel a ton for work. Uh, so you're always looking in these creases right here. If anybody doesn't know, but you're always looking in these creases and then also looking in any dark areas. You can look along the headboard. You're looking for anything that could be a sign of a bed bug mm -hmm. uh, or any bugs at all. Um, this bed actually didn't even have any hairs in it. So a lot of times just honestly you'll see some hairs on the mattress but you're not touching it but that's spotless. Uh, so right behind me, lamp, plug, USB, clock, two USBs, two plugs. So that's a lot of plug-in places here. And then uh, uh, right behind you, second TV, one living room, one in the bedroom. Then you have plenty of storage down below as well. Nice place to sit down here. A little creaky there. Plug on the wall if you need it. Second AC here. And then we're actually. You Lord. It's ice cold. <laughs> it's so cold. So this is the door leading out here from the uh, from the bedroom to the balcony. I'm gonna walk you over to the main grand two doors and we'll take you out that way. All right, so we're gonna walk to the main doors. It's kind of cooler to see it that way. And this hotel room has been super clean, a lot of space. You know, for two people, it's honestly probably more space than you need. But if you have kids, you get the two beds. I'm walking backwards in the place of a boat, so if I die <laughs> on this video, it's a nice note, everybody. Uh, but you get the two beds, you get the couch bed. So that's easily six people in here. Uh, so especially if you have like four kids and two adults, you can easily fit plenty of people in here. Double balcony doors looks really nice. It actually kind of reminds us of like the island in Pigeon Forge. We had the island room. We'll put that video in the description below going out to those fountains or our favorite place, the beach. Um, you got these little shades here that rolls down, pretty nice. Uh -huh. And uh, let's walk outside. There you go, Steph Aru. Thank you. So there's a few spider webs out here, but it looks like they've pretty much cleaned it down pretty good. So this is your first half of the balcony here. It's huge. You have two tables and four chairs out here. Uh -huh. The river view down below. River is a little bit dirty, but it's been raining quite a bit recently. Um, that we're not swimming in the river anyways, it's just nice to look at. So we'll walk down this way. We can kind of show you a little bit of the balcony here. So you have your table and chairs, table and chairs. The only thing I don't like about this balcony a little bit is right here, you can very close to your neighbor. But yeah, you got so if you wanted to a, be. a private balcony, this isn't it, but. But you could be on the other side. Yeah. There's ways you can sit out here and be a little more private. Yeah. And then back behind you over here is the convention center right over there. You got the little parkway right there. That's Teaster Lane. That's our shortcut. <laughs> when the parkway is busy, we cut down Teaster. Um, you go back this way. You got all these nice little windows. Gives plenty of natural light. Uh, looks like you have a plug out here as well. So if you wanted to bring like an electric grill, I don't know if it's allowed, um, but they definitely have a plug out here. And so here we are. The second part now. This uh, is my favorite view. So you have, you have the view of the mountains here. Look at this, guys. Oh. So beautiful. So over here you got uh, two more chairs and a little smaller table over here. 
So kind of what I think of is this, is like that over there is like kind of eating outside or hanging out. This reminds me more of, I woke up in the morning, here's the view, here's my coffee. You know, having my breakfast or my coffee out here, this is where you want to be. So here's the second door over here going in. And this side's a little more private, but you can have a balcony right over here. You can get some neighbors right over here. Um, but I would definitely suggest getting the mountain view here. It's way prettier than the river view, I believe. Both are nice though. Um, but yeah, this, this wraparound balcony is nice. Parking lot's over here. It's Entrance beautiful. is right over here. Mm -hmm. um, if you are a Hilton Diamond member, you can actually, the Diamond parking is right down here. So if you're a Hilton Diamond member, there's parking there for you. Some nice green spaces out here. And then plenty of parking. Like, yeah. I mean, it, there's a, you know, like a lot of people in the hotel, but right now, doesn't seem like many cars there. And uh, yeah, and if Stephanie wants to do a full 360, or is that three, no, 180, the 180. parkway is right behind us. So we'll show you the actual parkway is right here. So you have the parkway right there, Cheddar's is down there, Shoney's is across the street. So you got the full parkway uh, right there. So a great location. Um, yeah. yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the room part of it. And we'll, Let's go uh, back into the bedroom. Show you the rest of the hotel as well. And voila. Yeah, I love this part. So again, if you can't hear had kids, for example, we already know I was <laughs> we're still big kids. Kids like to sleep in. So you can close off that whole door there, you know, have some privacy with the kids if they're on the couch bed. You can run there in the morning, make some coffee, go out your own balcony door right here, have some some adult time with the coffee in the morning, let the kids sleep in. Uh, so really cool room. We yeah, so let's show you the rest of the hotel now. All right, here we are in the main dining area. They call us the Fox Den over there. There's a full bar there. Uh, this is all the dining area for breakfast. Uh, they have lunch and dinner, big fireplace. Really beautiful ceilings. Yeah, I was just saying that. That's funny. <laughs> cool chandelier there. Um, that door, I'm not sure, but probably breakfast. There's a little breakfast buffet here. It's not included in the stay. Uh, gold and diamond members do get the daily credit, but you do have to pay for the breakfast if you're not gold or diamond, unless you book a certain package. Big fireplace and TV there. Uh, some more sitting areas. And then you have this cool little sitting area over here, too. So just a lot of sitting areas. Uh, when we came down earlier, there was some people here eating some pizza. It looked pretty good, I noticed. Um, and again, here's just a look back at these ceilings of the chandelier right here, too. Look at this. This is just like lodge, elk lodge, just really cool. And then over this way, we have some more sitting areas here. Um, so lots of places to sit. And this is the check in area right here. So there's the Black Fox Lodge logo. That's where you check in at. Right here to the right is your little pantry area to get your snacks. This is the other side of the fireplace here. It's a double sided fireplace. And then you have a little business center right through the right of the door. It's like just like a little computer and chair. The door is there. Luggage. I just want to show you this fireplace too. Let me turn around. Look at this fireplace. Bricks all the way to the ceiling. And that is so cool. Really neat. This is really cool. It's our first time staying here. And just the decor in here is really neat. You actually feel kind of like a lodge. <laughs> oh, the wolf. Look at all the wolves on the wall. Or the black, or black fox. I guess black fox black or wolf. Fox. Yeah. That's really cool. The fitness. Yeah, fitness studio is down this way and since you come into your right as well, uh, there's restrooms right here and then you got elevators down here as well. Working on my fitness. Wait, what does Fergie say? <laughs> Two elevators right there. I'm not sure. Look at this. There's the Black Fox Lounge outside. It's really cool. Really nice. Weather forecast and everything and uh, we're going to head towards to the left of the fitness studio here. This is the laundry room here. There's like, I think four machines total in there. Uh, the only thing we're not gonna show you inside is there's like four people in there right now and some kids, so we just didn't wanna film the kids and the people in there. And then here is the fitness center. All right, we're inside here now. Got a clock and a phone there. You got the machines here, you got elliptical, treadmills, everything. It looks pretty nice. Like Stephanie said, I think the outside is the outdoor pool out there. But you got your basic machines you need. You got these huge mirrors, hey Steph. <laughs> Those are huge mirrors. Uh, you got your little tables here for like weightlifting and free weights. And you have a TV turned off right now, but um, there's your free weights here. You got a water machine, uh, plenty of towels right there, a trash can. And it actually is cold in here. A lot of workout rooms we go to don't have ceiling fans in them or see. Hey Steph, I see your little head there. Uh, so <laughs> there's Steph holding it down the treadmill. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool in here with these little fans. So. Nice workout room in here. Hey, this mirror is huge. 
Well, I'm here. Make a pint. <laughs> All right, we're heading out now to the pool area if we can find it. Share and Stephanie shirt. got a new shirt here. Which one are you guys? <laughs> Jeremy thinks that I'm. Sophia. I keep telling Stephanie she's ratchet. ratchet. <laughs> Jeremy is definitely bougie. bougie. But I'm going to say I'm Miss Rose. I am a classy lady. <laughs> Alrighty, and there's restrooms right out here too, and a water fountain right out here. And cool artwork on the wall right there. I love those old smoky mountain looking pictures. This says exit right here. And, oh, okay. So there's um, plenty of seating outside. There is where we just were at the main lobby area, which looks really nice. And so you have a fire pit out here. The fire pit's not turned on right now. Uh, there's a fire pit control over here. So there's tables out here. And you look over some of the rooms here as well. Really neat. So we're gonna try to turn this fire switch on and see if we can get it going. All right, so we did turn the fire pit on, but it did not come on. So we think it may be because it's uh, uh, turned off maybe for this season. I'm not sure because it's hot out now, so I'm not sure. Look at these big lounge chairs they have over here. This is really cool. So big lounge chairs here. And we're gonna head over to the pool area now. So look at this, this is this really cool like little, it's almost like a little fire thing. Like you see like Islands of Adventure or something, but they're not fire, they're plants. But some cool little things right there. The pool is currently closed, but we can still see it from here. There's the pool hours there, 9 to 10, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And there we go. So you have your pool there. You have a little mushroom right over there to the left. The mushroom has water going over the top of it. You have water slide to the right there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here. And then there's the mushroom closer up, the water slide closer up. And then right straight ahead is like a little uh, pavilion area. It's got a uh, outdoor sink in there, grill and everything. So you can really get some food going on the grill and everything right there. It looks like a really nice little pool area out here. Alrighty, so we stand correct on the fire pit. It does come on and is working. It took about five minutes for the fire pit to come on, but it's really nice. You got these little chairs out here. And then you have a nice little fire pit right here. And the pool's right behind you and the lodge, uh, the lobby area is right there. So it's good to give it, you know, four or five minutes for the fire pit to come on. But look at that thing. It's in a metal cage there, but it's it's roaring. So we just got done with our stay here at the Black Fox Lodge. Uh, super friendly staff, a very clean hotel. Uh, it was like a one bug in the room, one little spot that they forgot to clean it looked like. Uh, it's the kids playing at the pool kind of in front of me there. Uh, and um, But you know, bugs in the balcony rooms in the mountains, you can, uh, bugs in balcony rooms in the mountains is gonna happen. Uh, one little spot to be deal. Everything else is spotless in the room. Uh, again, super friendly staff. They have a pretty cool pool with the water slide, a little mushroom out there that kind of puts water down. They have the fire pit. Uh, we didn't try the restaurant this time, but they had a whole nice sitting area. Uh, the food that we did see walking by looked really good, like the pizzas and things like that. And um, yeah, I would just say definitely recommend this hotel. Um, the room that we had was a two queen room, has two bed, has a bedroom, uh, one and a half bathrooms, the living room. And I think the one of the coolest features was 60 foot wrap around balcony, so that was really interesting. Um, but yeah, recommend the hotel, great hotel. We'll probably stay here again at some point in the future. And if uh, you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh